save time. Um, we we kind of want you to, to continue with that farm, please. That would be very, very nice. Um, we're actually getting a bit more firewood here. We're pretty stocked up on firewood at the minute, um, which will probably be used eventually. But then these guys are actually going to forest and stuff as well. So they're going to just go ahead and chop down some trees, um, then replant them as well. So we can just continue to get a lot of wood. Um, in general, so how many logs have we got? We've only got 87 logs. I'm hoping that they're actually going to come back and store some. Um, you're you're working nice. You're actually a forester as well, so that's good. Um, so you're going to be working soon. But we we are stocking up firewood here because uh, they don't need it during the summer, but over the winter period they will need quite a bit. So I'm hoping that we do get quite a bit by then. Um, everyone just seems to be walking. At, well, I'm really walking around. They're not really doing too much um, here now. Is that yeah? It is done. The fisherman's hut is done. Um, we don't actually have anyone working here at the minute. So we'll go ahead and get rid of a builder and we'll get rid of, and um, we'll go ahead and put a fisherman on there, uh, which is something that obviously we need. So a forester, we'll go ahead and do the same and put a fisherman on there because food at the minute is, is very, 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 um, like important because uh, we don't really have too much of it. So obviously when that comes to it, we're going to need quite a bit. Um, and hopefully this will harvest and, and, and get uh, us some more food soon as well. So we will see how this goes. But hopefully this continues to go. So what are you going to be doing here? You're, gonna, you're the fisherman, uh, Lanny, who's 18. You're going to be working and collecting us some fish on the lovely dock of a beautiful day. Um, which is obviously something. Now where did all of that go? Oh, all of my stats and stuff like that. Um, what's the button? Toggle pop up. Notifications of death. Uh, I want to keep that on there. Um, I want to keep that on there somehow, but it just disappeared for some reason. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, you've got a lot of options on what you can build and stuff in this place, and we want to continue to get this going. So, look, the detail on this wood and things like that, and like the boxes and stuff like that, also looks very, very good. So, let's see on that food limit. Oh, five thousand fish. Christ, I'd be lucky if there is even five thousand. Whoa. Why didn't I see this pond earlier? Maybe we can make like a bridge over this way and then uh, get like another fisherman set up in there, or a couple actually. We can just like surround an area or something at uh, this time. But that'll be in the future, that won't be just yet because that's a lot of work to do at the minute. Um, but anyway, our place is starting to, to definitely build up now. These trees are, uh, uh, it's a bit weird. I, I would rather put um, the, the forester lodge over this way. Um, just so maybe I could like destroy it up until this stone, so you got like don't have trees around the house, um, which is another thing I don't really like, and I don't like this either. So we're probably going to harvest these trees over this way, um, and on there. like so, and we'll get rid of them, um, and then that should be good. But we do seem to be getting a fair amount of firewood here, 180 um, of our original target, 400, which is pretty good, and then. We're getting a couple of fishermen over here as well, which is definitely, definitely working out. Uh, they are coming over, so hopefully they'll collect, uh, they'll collect a couple of fish. They seem to be going pretty well, actually. I don't know how like the rate of their fish collecting is, but we'll see. Um, it doesn't actually show how how many they're catching, um, and I don't think it shows it here. Right, so. They are destroying these trees, and these trees are actually falling on their heads, and also on the housing. Um, around the area and also just disappearing through the through the floor so that's something which is a bit difficult and a bit weird but anyway now is this once they've destroyed these two trees here what I'll do is I'll probably get them to, to destroy maybe a couple more of it this way uh, maybe up until like this the beginning of this forester's lodge so probably like these couple of trees here um, like in this level and then also get rid of this iron here as well so they can first of all get quite a bit of iron and second of all it just gets it out of the way so they can navigate uh, better throughout this place so they don't have to quickly go round and stuff like that they can I don't even think they have to go around I think they just go straight through it let's have a look yeah but it looks like they just go straight through it but it just looks better anyway in general and also we can get the iron for the iron tools and things, so that's not too bad um, but <clears throat> Harvest trees here. I want to continue with harvesting, harvesting these trees, and I want to get rid of this amount um, here, like that. And then that should get rid of all of these ones over here. And then that, uh, the forester's lodge actually has plenty of trees anyway to to cut down still around this area and then grow again. So we seem to be good there. We've got 75 logs, 200 stored firewood at the minute. Uh, not too much food. We're kind of running out on food, so that's obviously something that we definitely need to get 
get an abundance off. They are harvesting though by the looks of it. So they are harvesting. We've only got 33% yield though. That's not too good. Um, but hopefully next summer we'll have a lot more. So they are harvesting the food. Hopefully they'll they'll put some more in here. I'm not sure who the farmer is. Are you a farmer? Yeah. You're going to go and get something to eat though. That's not good. Um, fish. they got 18 fish. Nice. Nice. You little beast. You little beasts. As you can see, there's like boxes of fish there. I don't know where these boxes are coming from, but either way, it's giving us more fish, so that's good. Um, which is giving us some, uh, some more food, so that's obviously something that's good. Now, this is actually the first time I've ever used a fisherman's dock, um, so that's obviously uh, new to me. But it obviously works, and it does its job. So we're in early autumn now, um, and then when it comes around to winter, is that is the hardest time to, to worry about. It's the time where you have to kind of use everything you have to survive. Um, which is something that we'll definitely be doing. So when they destroy these trees here, I'll probably get them to destroy the iron and also these little trees in the middle um, because they look kind of stupid there. And I want this kind of like a nice clean area around this area just so we can build. Um, and it gets it done quicker. Uh, so maybe that'll be something to do. Now, there's also some things on here that I haven't actually built before. I've never built a stone house. Um, I've never built a boarding house. Um, I've built a, a wooden bridge and some other things, but I haven't built... Uh, a market or a trading post before. I haven't built a schoolhouse or a town hall or a chapel or a cemetery before. Uh, I have built an orchard before. Uh, I've built a pasture before and a fishing dock I've obviously built just this second. Um, and a hunting cabin. Uh, I've never built one of them either. So, and a gatherer's hut I obviously have. Uh, actually, no, I don't think I have a gatherer's hut before. And then obviously that's just destroying these. Now a tavern, I've never, I've never made one of them before. A tailor, a tailor, I haven't uh, made before. A blacksmith, I haven't either. So there's quite a few things here that I haven't actually made before. A quarry is definitely, definitely, like in the future. We don't have enough iron or anything to, to make like the tools recommended for that. I don't think so. I, I'm not quite sure when we will get that done. But guys, if you know any like tips on anything on how to get this this game sorted and stuff like that let me know in the comments um, based on your like tips and tricks and stuff we'll see how this goes um, and definitely if you want this to continue as well definitely go ahead and let me know in the comments section below as well because it's going to be like a little pilot playthrough at the minute they'll be about 15 minutes long um, each episode because uh, I've cut them down into 15 minute sections and then we will see how this goes so you'll have to let me know in the comments whether you want that to go or not and apparently none of these are, are getting big so I'll probably just make them into squash uh, which is not going to be good because I don't really want to make them into squash. Why is there three on this side? Oh, they're harvesting it. They're harvesting it. Uh, and I'd like you to replant it as well at some point. Uh, so they've got rid of the trees by the looks of it in this little area. Uh, they are, I think, planting the trees back. That's something that sucks. I think they are planting trees around this area now. I think they're the farmer. Uh, no, not the farmer, they, the tavern guy. Is actually the forester lodge is just planting the trees. You know, we're planting new saplings. Um, they are doing it as well. Centre of the view on this selection. Show hide the stone. Um, doesn't really bother me. Um, but by the looks of it, he's planting the saplings and things around the city, uh, which is obviously not something I really want. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. And they're getting wood anyway. And seeing massive trees in the way is going to be very, very annoying. But we can just chop them down anyway if we don't need them. So that's something which is going to be. It'll be a little bit difficult to get you to first of all, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, 89 squash there. By the looks of it, the fish has been taken by some of these guys. I'm not sure who, but we'll see. Um, who's taking our fish? Uh, there you go. We've got this wooden house over here. It's actually got some fish, some squash, and some potatoes there as well. So they're really, really greedy over there. Um, and we've still got the woodcutters and things going here as well, uh, which is still collecting quite a bit of firewood. Even though they're taking some, it's still collecting quite a bit, um, which is something that's obviously good. So... Now I want to kind of build something else now. I'm not quite sure what I want to build. Uh, maybe maybe we can go ahead and build another stockpile. Um, we've got 64% complete. But I don't want to have to like uh, miss out on some more because the stockpiles run out. So maybe I'll just make another mini stockpile here. Um, we'll probably do the same here. 4 by 6 that looks reasonably, that looks the same. To be honest, I'll probably just make another one right next to it and we'll see how that goes, they'd have to destroy these two little trees here, but we'll, we'll see um, how it goes. So they have the well there, they've got a couple of trees over this way which are growing, which is annoying, but that's just my misplacement of the, the forest's lodge here. Um, they are destroying the trees over this way, but it's fitting them and planting them. Um, what the 
trees are disappearing. <laughs> Uh, but either way, it's it's working. It's going it's going pretty well at the minute. A couple of children have now been born again, so our population is growing. Um, so we've got three children there have been born. One in the summer, late summer, and then early autumn as well, which is good. Uh, which is obviously something that's very very good there. So stockpile really doesn't actually make much difference in how it doesn't really take that long to, to build. They just decide to when this one is full um, or near full, um, they just decide to fill this one as well, and it will fill. It will actually collect the same stuff. So like stone dogs, things like that, and in the future we'll probably need a few more of these when we get the quarry set up, uh, which is another thing, so why is that tree like dead? It's like a silver tree, a birch tree. Um, but yeah, they're still harvesting the squash here. Uh, I want to go ahead and destroy the stone bit here, because uh, I don't really want that, and I also want to destroy these, these trees up here, um, and also uh, these three here. So, um, and that should do the trick for them. I should keep them a little busy. But, didn't I say that I was going to collect this iron as well? I never collected it. We'll get that going in a minute. Because uh, maybe they decide to plant more trees there or something, but I don't know. Uh, so, he's a forester. They are planting saplings around. Um, it would have been nice if you can kind of like make them choose where to go. Like, uh, cut, or enable the cutting down. Planting. So, you can actually disable the planting of new saplings in this area now. I, it'd be nice to to kind of decide his location so you can kind of get it like over here and then just choose to get the saplings going around that area rather than having like a one big area where you have to do it otherwise you'd have to have this a long way away from the house like over this area just to get this going um, and then not bother the, the actual city bit here but it's probably going to get a little bit annoying and if, if it gets too annoying then what I'll do is I'll eventually move it in another episode but yeah. We'll see how that goes. So what I want to do now is I want to make a pasture. Now I don't know where I'm going to put this. Maybe we'll put it over this way. Um, but a nice, probably a nice uh, big one will do the trick. Maybe actually over here that would be a good place to have it I think. Um, so maybe we'll have it up here. Um, I don't want it to, to kind of fill this area up. So we'll probably have it there. Um, 10 by 8 and then we're going to have it so, or do we want it on the other side? Um, I'd rather have it there, I think. So they're going to get rid of all of that, uh, all of that iron as well, uh, which is something that is like two jobs in one. Uh, so we've got one log over there, which they're going to turn into firewood. Uh, we've got any fish, we've got 72 fish, 459 squash. Um, I think they're going to be planting stuff down here as well. But at the minute they haven't done, because I don't think there's enough. A couple of children over this way, which are just idling and enjoying the view. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, they're, they're deciding to uh, put the stockpile up now and then fill their own little stockpile. Uh, so that's probably a good, good way to, to get one of these. So anyway, it is going winter, as you can see. It's going to be snowing. Um, I think it's snowing. It's going to be snowing soon, anyway. Um, and everything's turning white, which is new, but. This is where the firewood thing comes in. So obviously 240 on firewood here. Uh, we don't really have, we have quite a few logs though, uh, which we can turn into firewood uh, if we ever need to. And then obviously the woodcutter's gonna keep going and then when they're just gonna place a bit of wood down here. They got nine logs here, they're just gonna keep chopping them down anywhere. We'll probably make another woodcutter at some point, maybe in this area, um, or actually there will probably be a good place for another one. Let's actually go ahead and do that. Um, so stockpile, over this way. Um, gatherer's hut, forester lodge. No, it's not forester lodge. I don't want another one of them. Um, all right, so uh, okay, probably there will be good. Uh, so there's, the builders are going to have their jobs set out because they've they're going to have two woodcutters right next to each other. Because um, I don't really want to make I don't want to make use of this area right now because I want a couple of paths and things like that to go to go through. And um, make everything accessible um, in a way, and also want to make use of this place when we when we decide to go ahead and make a couple more houses and things as well, which we'll probably do very soon, because uh, the the population, as you can see, is getting a little bit better uh, or a little bit bigger, I should say, due to the fact that like children and stuff like that are, are being born. So you know, I don't know why that keeps going up, but anyway, uh, we're actually having a couple more people here that are, are turning out to be laborers. So we're going to add to another builder at the minute. We'll probably have a couple more farmers eventually. Um, foresters at the minute are not really too much of a big deal. 
because uh, we have quite a bit of logs and things like that. Five would be have 265 in abundance anyway, so we're pretty good there. Um, and the crop fields and things at the minute are pretty pointless even laying down because they'll just get ruined by snow. So the pasture here is going to be probably main priority.